let's get to this because I know a lot of you have written me about this and written the show. Some U.S. veterans are vowing to take up arms and go fight in Ukraine, including one U.S. Army vet named Cody Hurd. He posted about it to TikTok. Let's take a look at Cody's TikTok. I'm a blue collared, uh, everyday working American, pretty much live paycheck to paycheck. Um, I got a wife and two kids, um, but I'm there to go and help the Ukrainian people. No, I'm not there to go and you know, necessarily fight Russians. Uh, but I am there to make a difference, and if that's training civilians how to defend themselves, uh, my plan is to, and a lot of our plans are to spend at least 30 days in country. So, Ukrainian President Zelensky has urged all citizens of the world to come and join the fight, but the White House is discouraging Americans from going. So let me just give you a little bit of context. 3,000 American vets have volunteered after Zelensky called and announced a formation of the International Legion. So anyone from any place can come in and Zelensky has formed this other kind of army. Here's the problem, though. The Russian Defense Ministry says they will be exempt if caught from being treated as prisoners of war with any type of Geneva Convention or anything like that. So we, we have no rules now. Putin is mm. saying that out loud. If any of these people get caught, there ain't no rules. Torture's up for grabs, killing's up for grabs. What do you guys think? Jeff, what do you think? I don't know if I like this idea. I get Talk that we want to help them. I, I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I'm just, I sound so cool. <laughs> uh, no, I, just, I don't. I really haven't thought about this a whole lot. I get wanting to take up arms, especially if that's what you have been doing right. for your whole livelihood your and you're trained to right. do that and you want to go help someone else. That, that takes something inside. Those are true heroes, right? So I applaud those people wanting to do that. I don't know if it's the best effort and especially the response from Putin. Mm. I don't think the way the war is going the way he wanted. I didn't I don't I think agree with you. he had he thought the resistance would be this much. I agree. And now if people are coming together and forming their own militia to fight his army, now he's going to say, "Well, you know what? There's no rules." I think he's kind of getting shook a little bit. But I don't want prisoners American prisoners of war going over there if they get caught, yeah. right? I, I, I don't want to be put in that situation. I think you're being way nicer than I'm about to be. I think this could be catastrophic, Erica, in that yes, right now when you're sitting in your car giving your video, that's great. What happens when we start seeing videos of American citizens being slowly tortured. Yeah. Just like we see the positive things on TikTok, how many of those images can we start to see before people start to pressure our government or other foreign governments into going in to rescue these people and therefore pushing us into a real ground war? This is a very, very, very bad idea.